In this video we are going to talk about top 10 most dangerous animals in the world. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Most individuals have at least one animal phobia, whether it is a terror of anything creepy or a fear of sharks as a result of spectacular blockbusters. But which animals are actually worth being terrified of? You may be surprised at the solution. All kinds of ferocious animals have the potential to be extremely dangerous. While some actively cause numerous human deaths, others are less well recognized but exceedingly deadly when they come into touch. It's just one of the many reasons that knowledgeable tour operators and animal advocates constantly advise against approaching or otherwise interacting with wildlife. The top 10 most deadly animals in the world, along with potential encounter locations, are listed here. Number 10. Golden Poison Dart Frog. Only a small number of the many different kinds of vividly colored frogs known as poison darts are particularly harmful to people. The most lethal, a golden poison dart that grows to about 2 inches long, lives in a limited area of rainforests along Colombia's Pacific coast, roughly the size of a paperclip. One frog contains enough of its deadly poison, known as batrachotoxin, to kill 10 grown men, yet just 2 micrograms, roughly the size of a pinhead, are required to kill a single person. The amphibian is particularly hazardous since its poison glands are placed beneath its skin, making even a light contact dangerous. It should come as no surprise that the native ember people have been tainting their hunting blow dart tips with the frog's poison for decades. Unfortunately, deforestation has placed the frog on numerous endangered species lists, however, if you're fortunate enough to spot one while trekking, don't go grabbing for it. Number 9. Pufferfish. Blowfish, commonly referred to as pufferfish, are found in tropical seas all over the world. The fact that its neurotoxic, or tetrodotoxin, is present in the fish's skin, muscular tissue, liver, kidneys, and gonads, all of which must be avoided while processing the animal for human consumption, makes them the second most poisonous vertebrate on the earth, after the golden arrow dart frog. While eating pufferfish in nations like Japan, where it is regarded as a delicacy known as fugu and can only be prepared by professional, licensed chefs, poses a greater risk of death than doing so in the wild. Even though, a number of unintentional ingesting deaths happen every year. The tetrodotoxin can cause deadening of the tongue and lips, nausea, vomiting, tachycardia, difficulty breathing, muscle paralysis, and, if untreated, death. It is up to 1,200 times more deadly than cyanide. Number 8. Inland Taipan. Let's start with the good news, inland taipan snakes, also known as Dandarabella by Aboriginal Australians, are placid snakes that rarely bite people without provocation. The bad news is that inland taipans are well prepared to defend themselves when people sneak up on them or attempt to handle them. When necessary, inland taipans attack rapidly and precisely because their venom is thought to be the most lethal of any snake on the globe. Did we also mention that they developed particularly to kill mammals? One bite can kill a hundred grown people, causing organ failure, convulsions, and paralysis before death. The only available anti-venom is intended for the coastal relative of the inland taipan, and because to the snake's distant location, acquiring it fast is unlikely. The majority of inland taipan victims are herpetologists and expert snake handlers, however even the general public should use caution while traveling through the desert. Number 7. Brazilian Wandering Spider. The highly deadly bite of this spider will cause a heart attack if its size, which may range from 5 to 7 inches long, isn't enough to do so. Despite having toxic fangs, many spiders are not known to bite humans. The Brazilian wandering spider, however, is not one of these. And to make matters worse, this spider frequently embodies its name by ambling into heavily populated regions in search of shelter in dark, warm spaces like the interiors of shoes, garments, log heaps, vehicles, and other places where people might insert their hands. Within two to six hours of a bite, a human might pass away, usually from lung failure, though other symptoms including fever, vomiting, and paralysis can also happen. Although Brazilian wandering spider bites are rare, you shouldn't let your guard down when you're in their habitat. Merely in case. Number 6. Stonefish. The easiest to miss deadly fish known to humans is so on purpose. Stonefish, after all, got their name from the way they looked. 
They sat still and blended with the seafloor, where an unwary foot could easily step down on their dorsal fins, primed and prepared to attack with strong neurotoxins. The unluckiest clodhoppers will step forcefully, adding pressure and increasing the amount of venom injected, they may also activate the stonefish's secondary defense system known as a lacrimal saber, which has been compared to a switchblade of the face, yikes. Stonefish venom can be fatal within an hour, thus patients must obtain anti-venom right away. In the interim, they should use water heated to over 113 degrees Fahrenheit 45 degrees Celsius to denature the venom. Simply monitoring where you step is much simpler. Number 5. Saltwater Crocodile. Alligators in Florida may be frightening, but they can't compare to their dreadful cousin, the terrible crocodile, which is more irritable, easily angered, and hostile toward everything that comes in its way. The saltwater crocodile is the biggest and most dangerous species in the world. These vicious predators, which can reach lengths of up to 23 feet and weigh more than a ton, are known to take the lives of hundreds of people every year, with crocodiles as a whole being more deadly than sharks, then again, so are cars. Although their name is perplexing, saltwater crocodiles are particularly hazardous because they can strike swiftly and have bite pressure comparable to that of the T-Rex at 3,700 pounds per square inch sigh, when they bite. They are also good swimmers in both salt and freshwater. If that's not enough to frighten you, consider this in context, around 200 psi, or 5% of a salta's jaw strength, is used by humans to rip into a well-done steak. Number 4. Setsi Fly. The tsetse fly, which is frequently regarded as the most hazardous fly in the world, is a tiny insect measuring 8 to 17 millimeters, or approximately the same size as a housefly. It is widespread throughout sub-Saharan Africa, particularly in the countries in the middle of the continent. While flies are unpleasant blood-sucking insects that often feed during the hottest part of the day, their main danger comes from the protozoan parasites called trypanosomes that they disseminate. These tiny organisms are the cause of African sleeping sickness, a condition characterized by neurological and meningoencephalitic symptoms such as behavioral modifications, impaired coordination, and the irregular sleeping patterns that give the condition its name. The disorder can be lethal if left untreated. Although there are no vaccines or treatments to prevent infection, there are ways to protect yourself, such as donning neutral colored clothing, the tsetse fly is drawn to bright and dark colors, especially blue, avoiding brush during the day, and traveling in more remote areas with equipment treated with permethrin. Number 3. Blue-ringed octopus. The appropriately titled blue-ringed octopus punches much above its weight despite being the size of a golf ball and embellished with magnificent iridescent rings of blue. With a neurotoxin 1,000 times more potent than cyanide and no known antidote, not that there would even be time to provide it before death occurs, this placid animal will attack when attacked. One may not even feel the blue-ringed octopus's bite because it is so painless, which makes it even more remarkable how often people share photos and videos with one in their hand. Even if they want to avoid the human touching them, the act of being handled drains a blue-ringed octopus energy, as it does all other species, making it harder for them to survive. Number 2. Mosquito. The common mosquito, which is even smaller than the tsetse fly at 3 mm in length, is ranked as the second most deadly animal in the world. Our justification is the staggering number of deaths each year brought on by different infections that several mosquito species, among more than 3,000 in the globe, transmit to people. The annoying insects are the main carriers of diseases like malaria, chikungunya, encephalitis, elephantiasis, yellow fever, dengue fever, West Nile virus, and the Zika virus, which collectively affect an estimated 700 million and kill over 725,000 people annually. According to the World Health Organization, diseases spread by mosquitoes are currently a threat to more than half of the global population. Our best defense against infection is the use of insect repellents with lots of active chemicals like DEET and picaridin since pests are drawn to our body temperatures and the CO2 we breath. Number 1. Humans. Surprised? Since we are also animals and have been killing one other for 10,000 years, with an estimated 150 million to 1 billion deaths from war alone, and that was 10 years ago, it should come as no surprise that we are at the top of the list. We engage in a staggering amount of mindless brutality against one another. From domestic terrorism to gun violence. 
We pose a threat to other animals as well, just consider the effects of global warming, the devastation of forests and coral reefs, and over-tourism, to name a few. We are easily the most hazardous animal in the world, endangering innumerable other species in addition to our propensity for acting irrationally and our ability to wipe off the entire planet with a variety of terrifying weapons like nuclear bombs and genetically created superbugs. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.